Multiplying fractions and whole numbers. The way we multiply fractions and whole numbers, and, and let's let's look at let's look at a problem. Six times two thirds. Okay, six times two thirds. What we're saying is we we have we have something that's that's two thirds. Let's say we have let's say we have two-thirds. So if this is a whole and we have two-thirds, okay, if we have two-thirds of something, it looks like this. And, and if we want to multiply this by six, well, we have this whole here and, and we have two-thirds. Let's multiply it by six. So we have there's two of them. There's three of them. There's four. There's five. And there's six of them. So we have six of those. We've multiplied two thirds times six. So how many thirds do we have total? Well, we have, well, let's count them up. Each of these contains two thirds. So there's two of them, there's another two, there's another two, there's another two, there's another two, and there's another two. So we have two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve thirds. Twelve thirds. Okay, so if we multiply two thirds times six, we have twelve thirds. Now, a shortcut to this, now that you've seen it visually, is to take the the whole number and multiply it by the numerator. So we do 6 times 2 which is 12. And here I'll, I'll, I'll write out the the whole problem. We would do 6 times 2 which is 12. And, and we put that product over the denominator. So 6 times 2 thirds is 12 thirds. And that's how we multiply whole numbers and fractions. We simply take the whole number. So let's do another one. Let's say 5 and, and 3 fifths. 5 and 3 fifths. Well, all we have to do is multiply the whole number times the numerator. So we do 5 times 3, and we put that over the denominator, which is going to be 15 over 5. And we can simplify that. 15 over 5, well, you divide the top by 3, or I mean 5. Divide the top by 5 and the bottom by 5, and you get you get. 3 over 1, which is simply 3. And then in our previous problem, 12 over 3, well, 12 divided by 3 is just 4. So we would get 4 and 3. Let's look at one more example. And this is going to be a, a fairly short lesson. Let's say we have 7 times times five ninths. Seven times five ninths. Well, we can write that as we take the whole number and multiply it by the numerator. So seven times five, and then we put that over the denominator. So seven times five is 35 over nine. And that's all we have to do to, to multiply a whole number and a fraction. And then you can simplify your answer from this point. So 35 over 9. Well, you can do 35 divided by 9. And 9 goes into 3 zero times. But 9 does go into 35. And it goes into 35 three times, which it, 3 times 9 is 27. And then you subtract. You have to borrow a 1. 15 minus 7 is 8. And then that 3 becomes a 2. And 2 minus 2 is 0. So you are you have a remainder of 8. And you write your remainder as 8 ninths. So 3 and 8 ninths. 
would be your final answer. Well, I hope this makes a little sense. In the next lesson, we'll, we'll explore multiplying two fractions together.